Hi everyone, it's Mika and welcome back to my channel. If you're not subscribed yet, please don't forget to do so. Now in today's tutorial, we will be making a display tray. What you will need for this project is a drill, the correct drill bit, a glue gun and lots of glue sticks, your rope, I'm using a 7mm thick cotton rope, some fabric glue, a piece of wood, I'm using a cutter from a backing board and you'll need some cupboard handles. The first thing I'm going to do is add some fabric glue to the end of my rope. We are going to start by framing our board on the outer edges by gluing the rope all along the sides of the board. When you get to the corners, make sure you keep the rope tight and that it's glued down properly. So now that we've framed the board nicely, we're going to bring the rope onto the board. Make sure when you do your corners that they're nice and tight so that we don't see the board in the background. Now we're basically going to be going around the board gluing the rope down. Try to glue your rope as close to the rope on the sides as possible so that there are no gaps. And you're going to continue doing this until you get to the centre of the board. And remember, when you get to the corners, keep them tight and try and make as much of a right angle as you can. So just my luck, I have underestimated how long my rope was, so I quickly went and bought some more rope and I'm just going to try reattach it. I'm going to glue down all the edges so that they don't fray and I'm just going to try join it as neatly as I can so that it looks like a continuation of the other rope. Once you get to the center, try push the last piece of rope as much as you can into the gap. And once you cut the edge, don't forget to finish it off with your fabric glue on the corners. So now it's time to grab our drill and I'm just going to do the measurements on the back of my board so that I know where I want to drill my holes. Now I've got a little trick that I do, I usually take some paint and a little paintbrush and in the little gap that I want my hole to go, I paint it onto the little, onto the handle and then I press it down and it almost creates like a little stamp where the holes need to go. I don't know why I do this and where I got this idea but it actually works really well for me versus doing all the measurements and trying to get that right, blah blah blah. Here we go, look up. Perfect that is! Now I know exactly where to draw my holes. A 
Okay, so it's finally done. This is the finished product. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like it. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.